Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name's Caitlin. I have a cold, my voice is not great right now, so just ignore that. It's not COVID, it's just fresh as flu. So today I am starting a brand new project pan. It's kind of new, it's kind of not. We are doing a pan that palette style project. Now, if you're not new to this channel, you'll probably know that I ended a pan that palette last month, I think, and that was the Sofex Revolution palette. We almost hit pan in every single shade in that palette. Uh, and then I kind of gave up because the main issue with it was that I got bored. I didn't want to work on the palette anymore. I think I'd worked on it for six months and like that's enough for me. I don't want to work on a palette for six months. So I just started thinking like I really like Pan That Palette and I really wanted to carry on with it but I didn't want to work on it for that long so I was weighing up the options of what to do and I came up with a seasonal Pan That Palette. So a seasonal Pan That Palette is pretty self-explanatory. I work on a palette for a season, so that's three months, and then I pick a new palette, and yeah, it's not necessarily about panning the whole palette. It's just trying to use it as much as possible, hitting pan, and then rotating out. So this is gonna be a better project for me personally because I like rotating, I like using new things. Three months is still a pretty long time to be able to get some good progress on it. So yeah, I thought, why not? why not try this? <laughs> so, the palette. I mean, you've seen the thumbnail, you probably already know what this is, but I decided to have the subculture as my pan that palette for winter, so October to December. I'm going to be working on the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. So, this is what it looks like right now. There are no pans in this palette, which hopefully we can change that in three months. In three months, we will get so much use out of this palette. I'm actually really excited. <laughs> so I thought that this palette has lots of grungy tones, more cool tones and more warm tones. So yeah, October, it's kind of winter, it's dark, it's grungy, but I can also do some very light looks with this. Uh, yeah, I can do neutral, I can do colourful, because I am in uni now and I do need to wear a little bit more neutral makeup. Well, I don't need to, but I mean, I want to. <laughs> this palette has been one of my favourite palettes for a very, very long time, and the fact that I don't have any pans in it actually, like, really saddens me. So I thought, okay, best to work on this. And yeah, I wasn't going to start this project until next year, but I mean, I thought, well, I've got, like, a whole season. So I may as well start now. So I'm gonna kind of set some goals for next month, seeing as we're just diving in, you know? I would like to get a lot of use on electric. As you can see, there's already a dip in it, which is amazing, because I love that shade so much. I had almost like a fear of hitting pan in electric, uh, but now I'm like, you know what? You love the shade, just do it. Just hit pan in it and love it, and stop having this little mental thing. Just do it. Um, Dawn is like a setting shade. I may as well go through the whole thing. So like Cube is like, it looks white in the pan, but it's got a pink shift. So that's gonna be like in a corner or maybe like if I'm doing quite a light look all over the lid, who knows. Dawn is a, just a lid setting shade. I don't know if I'm gonna get that much use out of this this month because I do have a lid setting shade in my Rolling 10 project pan. So who knows? Um, I'm gonna finish the Rolling 10 project pan first and then move on to this. Destiny, I feel like this is quite a hard shade to use. It's like a murky green kind of shade. I am a little worried about that one. That's one that I am a bit worried about. I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to do that. But I mean, with this project, I don't wanna be like, I need to hit pan in every single shade, otherwise I'm a failure. Like, no, it's not like that. It's just getting as much use as possible out of this, loving it, really diving into it for three months, and then seeing, you know, where I am, picking a new palette. Adorn, this is gonna be such a fun one to use, especially with uni. It is such a beautiful metallic bronzy, like warm bronze, oh, love that. All Star, I'm thinking I can pair All Star with Roxy to make like a really warm, crease maybe a warm neutral crease that'd be really nice mercury is one of my favorite shades putting rowdy and then mercury in the crease oh 
I love, I love that. I love that so much. So yeah, hopefully this won't be too hard to pan. Axis uh, is more of a blue. I'm, I love blue, green, and yellow together. So this in the crease, then Untamed, and then Edge. Oh my God. And then like Electric on the lid, and then Cube in the crease. Oh, I'm doing that look tomorrow. I'm doing it tomorrow, I don't care. <laughs> Roxy is beautiful. You could use it as a blush as well. Who knows, I could do that. Electric, as I said, is one of my favorite shades in the entire palette anyway, so I don't have an issue hit, trying to hit pan on that at all. I love it so much. Fudge is a beautiful, just neutral crease shade. I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of this because again, I am in uni, I need to tone it down a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm, I love fudge so much. New Wave, I'm starting actually to really like and appreciate yellows. I have a yellow in my Pan Those Eyeshadows, so like New Wave and Edge probably won't be used until I've hit Pan in my Pan Those Eyeshadow shade because I am so close to hitting Pan in that shade. It is unreal, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm a lot more comfortable with yellows. Yellows I just didn't know what to do with, but now I'm, I'm learning, I'm really loving like an orange and then a yellow, oh, just in the crease and then like tapping on like a a really like sparkly shimmery gold oh my life my life is complete with that <laughs> untamed um yeah i'm i am more of a blue person i'm not much of a green person i do love greens i still love greens that's why i chose this palette but untamed will maybe make me fall in love with greens even more who knows Edge, like I said, probably won't get too much use until I hit pan in the yellow from my Juvia's Place palette. It's more of like a grungy yellow than the new wave. I'm still learning the names. <laughs> so yeah, Edge, it's a, it's a very unique colour. I don't really know how to describe it. If you have the palette, you'll probably understand, but like, it's very strange. And then Rowdy, again, like I said, blended out with Mercury. A dream come true. It can also be a liner. Oh! The possibilities are endless. I love this palette. I think I ranked my whole eyeshadow palette collection last year. I'm going to be doing another video ranking my palette collection towards the end of the year. But I think this came in at number two. It was number two or number three. So this is very high up there and it still remains definitely in my top five. So yeah, I'm hoping that I fall even more in love with this and I wanna increase my pan percentage. I wanna do all that good fun stuff with this because I think it's just gonna be an amazing palette to work on, especially in the winter. Like this definitely isn't like a summer palette. I think I've chosen the right time of year to work on this. So yeah, three months. I'm gonna update every month. I'm gonna update you with total uses and I might do weights as well. No, I won't do weights. I won't do weights until next year because my scale is ridiculous. <laughs> It's so like, oh, sometimes things gain weight and sometimes things lose weight. It's just a lucky dip. So I won't do weights, but I'll do uses. I'll track my uses with this. And yeah, I will see you next month with, with the update. So that is the end of this video, a very short and sweet video. Intros are always quite short and sweet. But I hope you stick around for my progress in this. I'm very, very, very excited. If you saw my Sofax Revolution pan that palette, you'll know that I'm quite successful in pan those palettes kind of things. And also my pan those eyeshadows seems to be quite successful as well. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be successful because obviously the ABH formula is quite soft. So yeah, I'm hoping that it will do me well. And I'm very, very excited. So, if you like this video, please like and subscribe because I've been swatching. Anyway, um, <laughs> please like and subscribe because it will mean the world to me and you definitely don't want to miss out on the updates. I'm so excited. I love, oh, I just love having new projects to work on. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>